Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here and in this video I'm accompanied by my good friend Gilbert once again. I had a question from Marcus. Marcus is a uh, jiu-jitsu instructor and he asked me on the YouTube channel what are the five first submission holes that I recommend teaching in jiu-jitsu for beginners. So I gave it a thought and I think the first five submissions could be any submissions but I'm going to teach you five basic ones that I think all white belts should know. You didn't really precisely say if you wanted to learn the details of this, but I'm presuming that as a jiu-jitsu instructor, you know all the details, you just wanted to know what my thoughts, but I'm still gonna cover quickly what are the five submission holes. Of course, we're gonna start in the mount position. So once I'm here, the first submission hole I like to teach is always going with choke. So in this case, with the gi, we're gonna go with collar choke. So I wanna create a little bit of space so I can put my hand inside the collar. And there's two variations of this. So the first one is gonna be palm up, palm up. So once I'm here, slide the hand on the opposite side. We know the details on this one. I go down and that's my collar choke. That's a good one that I like to teach beginners. The second one is also a variation from this. Once I put my palm inside the collar, I'm going to teach students to go to the opposite side, five fingers out, close and finish the collar choke with the palm down variation, okay? Now the third submission hold that I like to teach students is also teach them when the opponent is actually protecting their head or protecting against collar chokes is going for the Americana lock. So from here, basic Americana lock without going into all the details, okay? Now submission number four that I like to teach beginners is always from a self-defense scenario. I'm gonna have the bottom person always extend their arms like this and teach them the mechanics of when you attack against someone trying to push you off, that's gonna give you that opportunity to attack the arm lock from the mount position. So in this case, if this is the arm that I'm going to attack, that's the arm that I'm gonna wrap. If this is the arm, it's gonna be the opposite. So I'm gonna face the camera, I'm gonna do it on this side. Put all of the weight on my palm, turn to my side, push the head, knock and pass for my basic arm bar position. The fifth submission I like to teach, when my partner starts to turn to his side like this, I'm gonna give him a little space. We know this already. Now from here, if you notice, when I pull him to the side like this, I wanna bring this snug against the back, right? So this is gonna be snug, and from here I can start to take the back. Now, from this position is going to be the back control. Here, we can have seat belt position in this fashion, or we can have double underhooks holding the collar like this. Whichever method you prefer, from here I like to teach students to wrap underneath the chin. One, take the arm out, control the bicep, put the hand behind the neck, and we go for our rear naked choke. So from here, it's very important to teach students to understand that once they feel the pressure, they have to give a tap, right? So without going to all the details, these are the five first submission holes that I would recommend any beginner white belt jiu-jitsu student should know. All right, until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.